Hi, Sabrina here from FU4. So in this uh, next video for Yaks, I'm I'm going to, to talk about something one of uh, my readers asked about. How do you actually uh, put all of what I've done in the previous video into a loop to generate several results from Codaster at the same time? Because in the previous video, I'll show you how to link into an automation the geometry, the mesh, uh, how to control the aster node to, to write and, and simulate for a specific parameter of um, Jung's modulus and Poisson's ratio and how to post process. But what if you want to put a loop on that and, and let's say change the Jung's modulus uh, into several values and, and then compute over? Well, you have to use a for loop to do this. And because there are some subtleties to this um, process, I decided to make an additional video to show you how to create this. So let's go back to the script that I ended, ended up with at uh, the end of the previous video. So you have a um, geom node, the mesh node to generate the mesh. Then you have two material data that are some that are input. Uh, you have the com writer which writes the com file for aster. You have the aster node and you have the two uh, post-processing nodes. Now, how do I transform this to put it into a loop? Well, the thing is that um, I'll basically have to to put this as an input and everything here will have to go into a loop. So the first thing to do is to unlink this. So make sure you're not in edit mode. So if you are, just close edit mode and uh, delete the links that are created here. So you just click on the links and delete them. You should have something like this right now. Now, uh, the thing is that I want to change my um, Young's models. So the Young's models will, won't be one value anymore. Uh, it will be a list of values. So in order to provide a list of values, I have to change the type here. So I have basically to, I don't know if you can change. No, you cannot change the type like that. So I'll just delete this and this, and I recreate a new one. And what I need is a sec double. So sec double is a sequence of doubles. So that's basically a list of uh, List on array uh, of uh, the double values. So, and I'll, I'll just call it E. So, this will be E2, but it's not the same type of variable. So, don't uh, mix them both. And then here I have to initialize to the, uh, to the value. So, instead of initializing it as one um, value for the Young's modulus, this time I have to put a list into it. So let me check. Yeah. So two brackets like this. And um, let's put 20,000 uh, 20, MPA as the first value. Second will be 22 MPA and the last value will be 25. MPA, like this. Enter. So this time I initialize it as a sequence of three values. So what I want to do is three simulation, uh, one after another. And now I have to add a for loop into it. So I just right click, create a node, and you have several types of for loop, um, while loop for each. Uh, so I advise to use the simple for loop. That's the easiest one to, to use. And um, the thing is that you can only place one uh, unique node into into this. So what you'll have to do is um, to create to create a block node. So and the block node will ac actually contain those four nodes. So how do you put that into the node? So unfortunately, it's not just a, a drag and drop. It doesn't work. So you have to uh, let me check if you can select several nodes. No, you cannot select several nodes. So uh, let's 
for the moment let's delete those links and I'll just relink afterwards and what you have to do is to cut basically to cut the item and click on this node and paste the item and you can also use the keyboard control X to cut control V to paste so you see I have those two into it and let's do the same with this control V to paste control X to cut control V to paste okay so now I have those nodes into my um, my block which is into the for loop now how do we link, we link this so this will be linked in the same way than um, it was linked previously um, and the thing is this time the E that I'll use this is not a double anymore so I have to delete this and to uh, add a sec double like I did for the previous one like that E I'll initialize those two values to the values into this node here so they will always be equal to those input values and the trick is that at each um, each step of the loop uh, it will the the, I, the index will change so I'll have to call the index from the com writer to extract the right value from within the array so if I add let's add a new int value that will be for the index let's link that to the index here um, at the same time I have three values so the number here for the number of step will be equal to three so don't forget to to assign this make sure this is apply um, and now I have to modify a bit what is inside the com writer and uh, let's go up now each loop what I do is that I will rewrite if you remember rewrite all this string of text and what I'll do is that I change the material yeah here um, so instead of taking the E value at each step I'll add um, brackets and index so I won't take the E I will take the E the value e at the index inside the R the, the list at each step now um, now that I have done that the aster will compute whatever I give him now the small um, small problem I am uh, I will have here is that Aster will always regenerate the same result um, coming out with the same name so um, if I if you remember here if I go here the name of the result file is plate res dot armed so what I want is to change this name into something that contains uh, the index I want to different name for each step so I'll get three result uh, outputs so the way to do this so le let me uh, first copy this pass because I'll, I'll use that right away the way I'll do that is that I, I will use another intermediate node in between here that will be a Python node here and inside this path Python node so this will be a node used to rewrite the name of the result file so I could put that into the aster node code as well but I decided to re to uh, separate this so rename rename node okay and the way to rename is pretty simple import OS there is a function Python OS dot rename that and that's where I'll use the pass to my result file comma and I want to rewrite that to rewrite that into um, 
and here I'll put um, plus plus str to convert into string and I'll use again the name of my index. So the, this will rewrite the plate res.armed into str uh, plus the name the, the index value. Now um, if you didn't if you, you you saw that I did a mistake I didn't create the input for uh, the index so I have to do that too and I have to associate that to here link does to not do that and now I have to read this modified result file by each of those um, those nodes so I have also to add here index Okay. Um, don't forget to link that and link the output of this to each of those nodes. And in here, let's let's copy just this this part here. Copy. I have basically to go up, and when I told him to open the file, I'll just add this at the end. So it will open this specific result file. And for the, you remember, I'm with this comment here, I'm outputting two screen captures. So what I'll do is that I'll also put a different name to the screen captures based on this index value. So got one here and it's a bit small. So this is for displacement and this okay this one is for for the stress okay apply and same for this text node um, oh yeah actually I didn't really change the name of the text file so but I it's the same idea in this you also change the name you, you could put it also in the rename, rename the txt file and, and do exactly the same. I won't do it here, but I think you, you understand the, the idea. Okay, now uh, time to see if that works. So I hope it does. So don't forget to save your uh, new scheme. Let's go into execution mode. And for this first execution, because I'm, I'm not really sure uh, if it works from the first time, so what I'll do is that I'll go into set uh, step by step mode and this time I have to click several times. So now I'm in the for loop, for loop started to execute, click again. Now uh, the first, first loop here is executing, the Aston node is executing, it's over. And uh, so you see the, the first step has been executed and it seems to be working. So of course um, I don't have to click all the time but I'm in step-by-step -step mode just to see um, how the, the values change because if you are in step-by-step -step, you can see the instant value uh, which is taken by each of the items, each of the variables within the loop. So that's pretty useful. And I think it's uh, done. Seems like three by three, everything has been executed. So this is finished. I can have a look at the log, hoping that this works. So execution code zero, it means generally that this was okay. And if I go into my um, if I go into my uh, example file, you see that I have now three types of results. I have so this is the first result, second, and third. So 
the image at the center is the same because the the uh, changing the Young's modulus only changed the scale uh, of the simulation. But what you see here is that the legend here is different. The first zero index zero, the maximum value of the displacement is five. Uh, yeah, it's five. But if I the second one is 4.6 and the fourth one is 4. So you see there is a, a change. So it, it means it works that I have. And I have also generated um, three types, three ARMED results, 0, 1, and 2. So this is successful. So this is how you, this is how you put um, your scheme into a loop. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please uh, like it, please help me to share and uh, thank you again for uh, following the blog.